Hi guys, this is KidLink77 and welcome back. Let's play Dragon Warrior 7. In the last episode, we were able to save Lumen in the past from uh, the Dark Draco. Um, but we went back to the present and we found that Lumen was destroyed. So we decided to come back here again to the past to see what's going on with Lumen. Um, I have a fair idea what might be going on, but, well, who knows? So anyway, why don't we go on in, you know, step into the town. I made it back over here to the past, so let's go on in. See what's going on! Ah! Oh, okay. I can't breathe. Help! Ah! And, okay, this is not good. Uh, it's dangerous, don't get any closer. Forget about me and go away. Ah! Okay. What is this thing? Well, let's get into a fight with this guy over here. This is the Vine Root. Alright, so these guys are actually weak to Windies, but they do have quite a bit of MP or HP, so... Uh, let's see, why don't we go ahead and get, you know, all the Windies that we can. And let's uh, try to take it out. And yeah, these guys hit pretty good, too, So for just a single encounter monster. But anyway, yeah, we got the Vine Root, so uh, there we go. Alright, and pretty good experience, too. So, uh, yeah, that's good. So it looks like this town is just, like, being completely overrun by these guys. Um, now the inn is free, so, uh, if you need to rest up and heal, definitely do that. What I'm gonna do is, um, uh, I'm gonna off-screen, uh, kill all these guys that are outside. And then, um, afterwards I'll go inside the houses and show you what's going on there. There are a lot of these. You don't have to kill every single one in here, but I'm gonna do it for the experience, pretty much, and, you know, the battle grinding. This is, I think, the last time that we'll be doing a little bit of grinding. Uh, I mean, you know, may as well try to get some in, and, uh, yeah. And, like I said, the battles are really easy. You got a free in right here, and you're getting some, you know, free experience, free money. It's really not that hard, so... Uh, yeah, it's just, it's time consuming, so, anyway, uh, I will, oh, here, let me, before I show you, uh, or before I kill everything in here, let me show you what's inside the inn, I'll show you what's inside the houses afterwards, but in the end, we have this guy over here, we'll go ahead and kill this guy here, and then, after that, you can rest, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take out everything over here, and, um, there we go, so, that, this will, this will definitely do it. Uh, the damage is kind of weird, I guess. Um, you know, with, yeah, I mean, sometimes it takes three hits, sometimes it takes four. Or two, who knows, so. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, rest up. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much, I thought we were done for. You've saved us, I tell you, though. No matter how you attack the roots of the Hellbind, your efforts will be in vain. Palplant's core must be around here somewhere, we must fight it and strike it down. Alright, so let's rest up. And, uh, then we're gonna take out the things off screen, so I'll be right back. Alright, so we've killed all but one of these things over here. I wanted to show off what this guy has to say. Hey, go away! Shoo, shoo! Shoo, shoo! Alright, let's uh, take this guy out next. Um, I've taken out everything that we need to. Um, there's only really one, like, monster, or one of these things outside that you need to really worry about, or you know, take out, and that's the one that's, you know, blocking the way to the well. Um, and that's, you know, by the mansion. But I want to show off, you know, um, uh, what's going on inside the houses as well. Um, so yeah, see what the people are doing here. I feel so bad for everyone here. Wow. I don't know what is attacking. I mean, it's vine-ish things? Thank you for your help. I really didn't think this one was still alive. I'm fine now. Please help the others as quickly as you can. Okay. So, first off, uh, let's see. What is, uh, what's up to this lady? There's no response. Seems person's unconscious. Oh. What about you? Everyone, look at this. We thought the hell vine was dead, but it lives. Oh. The priest, please, rescue the police. Bleast, bleh, bleh, he's inside the temple. Alright, let's go on in here first. We're gonna try to save the priest first. Hello, sir. You filthy, stinky monster. In the name of God, I will punish you. Charge! Alright, let's take it out. Alright, there we go, awesome. Now that I would ever see you again, I cannot find the words to express my gratitude for having been saved by you time and time again. It does not appear to be the time or place for a quiet chat, however. I welcome the opportunity to be assistant of you. Alright, so here you can now save. Uh, but we're fine. Uh, this is gonna be a l not really long episode, like, per se. It's gonna be long for recording, but, um, episode wide, I don't know how long it's gonna be. But anyway, let's go in here next. It took me about mm, eight, ten minutes to. Ooh, hello. Hello. Uh, about eight to ten minutes to, um, uh, take out all the vines outside. So let's, uh, take out these two next. Having Windbeast is so nice. 
Alright, so I guess, uh, oh, hello! There's like nothing up here, I guess. Good. Alright, that whimsically demonic vegetable is still alive! This town is done for! We've got no way to cut off the Hellvine's energy supply. Okay, so this is the actual Hellvine, huh? Well, uh, we took out the source of, or sorry, we took out the cause of his lack of sunlight, so I don't know if we really did much good to this town or not. Um, alright, so we want to, I think we're gonna go in from here. This is actually the armor shop, too, I forgot to mention. Uh, can we go inside, please? Thank you. Hello! Oh, that's, a. Uh, that's, uh, I feel bad for that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give him a hand around back. Oops, I thought there was one out over here, too. Oh, well. Alright, so come on, guys. Let's go, Melvin. Let's take it out. Ah, oh, somebody here? Give me a hand, will you? Alright, let's talk to him first. Hello. Ooh. I wanted to talk to him, but I guess not. Alright, you now. Be damned if I let these bastards get me. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, be right back. And done. Alright. <laughs> that was close. You saved my life. I thought you left town. Ah, I see. You sensed what was going on and came back. <laughs> I really don't know how to thank you now. Okay. Well, up here is the uh, the armor shop that I was referring to. I couldn't find it for some range reason. I said, if my house is alright, yeah, he's fine. Oh, that's a relief. If anything happened to him, I don't know what I'd do. I'm just so relieved. Well, you can't buy anything now because everyone's in a panic, but it's there, you know, just in case. So, uh, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and uh, see what else is going on. There's one more house, uh, you know, then, then we can check out the mayor's house. Let's go in here first and... Hello! No, no. Oh, the pain! Ah! Oh, well, there you go, Granny. Bye, Granny. Uh, you. There are too many roots here. This isn't right. The Hellby must be nearby. May have already invaded the walls of the town itself. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that's all we have for there. So let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, well, I want to speak to uh, this guy over here next. Uh, oh, this is Tori. Ah! Uh, again, <laughs> I'm attacked by this. The conniving root. I'm helpless, I tell you. Helpless. Oh, poor guy. All right, let's see what's going on in the mayor's house, and holy Jesus. Um, we're gonna be busy. I'll be right back, guys. All right, we took care of everyone in here. <laughs> there was a lot of things in here, yeah. Uh, these guys are also weak to fire, but we don't really have any fire spells at our disposal right now, so just stick with Ween Beast, you know, if you have it all. All right, hey, guys. Um, Bunkrag is seeing how things go. Well, things are not looking so well, sir. All right, hey, uh, you... Uh, oh, this is it. The house is completely surrounded by those fiends. I guess the only thing left is for me and Rocky here to die together. What? Well, yeah, once I got used to him, I decided to give him a name. He was just so cute. Oh, so he's, uh, he has a thing for monsters. Oh, that's nice. Hello! Oh no, they're coming from upstairs. This could be the end of us all. Hey, Rocky, what are you doing? What? what? No, Rocky, you tread too close. It's too dangerous. Whoa, 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 whoa! Rocky, what are you doing? Um... Oh, Rocky, what have you done? Forgive me, my friend. Rocky sacrificed himself to save the mayor or the owner of this mansion. Why did it have to come to this? When the Hellbine first attacked the town, its bulk rested upon a nearby hill. When we checked the hill again during the attack, however, it was no longer there. So it seems the Hellbine is now hiding somewhere and utilizing its roots to ambush us from underground. If we don't find it soon, the entire town will be done for. Hey, Rocky sacrificed himself to save his friend, huh? I guess not all monsters are bad. That's a, I guess that's a good thing. Oh, well. Now, we next need to be going uh, to the well. Because if you remember, there was like a collapsed thing in the uh, future. And there's no other way we can get underground. So why don't we try this? <laughs> Hello! Well, that's a lot of things. Um, Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, they've all been taken care of. You just have to fight this one, I think, in front to really make it matter, but... Let's explore the cave now. <laughs> I've been recording for about 24 minutes, and I think I've only gotten like 5 minutes of actual footage, so... Yeah, the grinding is... Hello! Not fun, but that's okay. So, before we go in there, I want to check in here. I don't think there's anything important in here. No, but you do see, you know, a little more ahead, and there's a ominous looking scene there. Just like a random sword on the ground, huh? Oh well. Alright, well let's um, follow the vine, pretty much. It's what we're gonna be doing now. This place is, hello, uh, somewhat-ish, linear-ish. If you look over here, you can get the sword on the ground, but it's just a steel sword, so we'll save it for some extra cash. Let's uh, take this out. I mean, it's uh, it's required, so we'll just go ahead and show it him. 
Well, my general skill here has been, I haven't really used the uh, inn very often, but I'll have everyone, you know, fight us at Mary Bell, and she'll bless whoever got hurt in the last battle, so Gobo will be receiving the healing if uh, we don't kill this thing uh, right now, so... Ooh, Mary Bell, that's not good, but we'll just have to patch it up later. So yeah, when Mary Bell gets hit, that's not the best thing, because she has the least HP of everyone, but, I mean, she still has a good amount. It'd take at least four or five shots from this thing to kill her, so... Again, I'm not too worried about it, but anyway, there's this thing down there. That's not good. Uh, in here, uh, there's a heart-shaped pool, huh? I don't know if that takes... Well, I don't know if that, you know, if that's any important, but figured, you know, we'll show off some new enemies in here. We have, uh, this guy, the Foggy Pot. Uh, again, we have Vacuum, and we have Wind Beast, so... I'm not too worried about stuff now in here, pretty much. Uh, Vacuum's gonna take out everything real easy. That lizard bird dead. There we go, there's the pot. Oh, having vacuum, so nice. But you, if you don't have vacuum, it's not a bad idea to have it for, you know, for the majority of the game now at least. Um, because you're gonna want it, to say the least. Makes some stuff easier, I'll just say. I mean, as you've seen, it makes a lot of things easier. Alright, so anyway, let's uh, follow the plane down here. And there are new enemies in here, so I will try to show them off if I can. If it's something we haven't seen before, you know, we'll do it, but if it is something, then nah. So anyway, we could follow the vine, but up here is a treasure, and in the said treasure, we get, ooh, we get some cash. 630, not bad. Alright, so let's uh, make our way down here. How much money do I have, actually? I think I have, I have a good amount of money. Uh, I don't know how much I made uh, from that, but we had like five grand, like, earlier-ish. Um, and now we have, you know, almost close to 10. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, down here, I don't think there's anything worth note, no. Um, let's see, there's a treasure chest up there, though. Ooh, we have new enemies, let's go and show it off. So we have nightshades, but again, I'm not too worried about those. The Dragon Man, um, Vacuum. These things look tough, but they really don't have that much HP. I'm more worried about the shades. The vacuum, though, will just one-shot these guys, though, so, again, not worried, and, yeah, there you go. So, again, vacuum is not a bad idea to have, guys, I'm just saying. So, anyway, uh, we'll make our way up here, let's get the treasure. And then the treasure, we get, ooh, we get some devil armor. Um, this thing is, uh, not all that great, <laughs> to say the least. It smells bad, I guess. Uh, you can give it to Aris. It raises his defense up really nicely, lowers his appearance. It's cursed, though. So sometimes you won't be able to move if you equip it. Again, it raises your defense up nicely, but uh, not being able to move is not a good thing. So we're not going to be wearing it. Um, I mean, I'll keep it, you know, just to have it. I mean, hey, who knows, maybe just in case we might, you know, make some use out of it. But we're going to you know, hold on to it, but not, you know, really wear it. So uh, I probably should have healed up uh, Mary Bell with that, but uh, that's all right. So, all right, let's make our way deeper into the cave and uh, see what's going on here. So up here we have, uh, oh, nothing, just a random little mirror room, I guess. Uh, let's make our way down over here, and that's uh, where we just came out of a few minutes ago. So let's make our way in here. And hello! Oh. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, we've killed every single vine that we can. Um, Melvin's looking a little rough, but we're not too worried about that because we have some pretty decent healing and we're all set for MP, so let us take on the source of this problem. Say hello. Hello to the Hellvine. This is the Hellvine! He doesn't really resist win per se, but he um, it doesn't do a whole lot against him. So first off, this guy can cast sleep on you. It's not good if everyone's about to die, so keep your HP up. And we're gonna get vacuum on all these guys because we want to take out the uh, vine roots ASAP. Uh, so I think two or three of these should be okay. Uh, no, sorry, so someone wasn't fast enough, sadly. Okay, well, we, at least we stopped one of them. And as you can see, it's not doing a whole ton to him. He can also do stop spell, which is not good. Uh, I think he hit Melvin and Aris, so they are out of commission. No healing from them at all. At least they can still use skills, but again, that's not good. Um, so I think we're going to keep our MP for healing uh, with Gabo just in case. And Mary Bell is going to go ahead and heal up Melvin. Um... Melvin go ahead and preemptively attack the, uh, the Hellvine because I knew that he uh, he could, or the Hellvine, you know, wouldn't die from stuff. And yeah, our stuff is dazzled, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, this 
thing hits almost every time, so not affected by, you know, stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and everyone, we're gonna have everyone do one beast. Everyone's healed up and ready to go, so let's go ahead and uh, just slice him. Uh, and this guy, again, can cast sleep. You need to be careful. He can attack twice in a round, so yeah, it's, he's not, you know, you just need to keep your MP up there. Sleep air, not good. And all right, three of them fell asleep. That's not good. Um, so we bow. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit him with Wind Beast, and hopefully he doesn't just like. Oh no. Oh great. Well, at least Aris and Melvin both woke up, but that ain't good. Let everyone else asleep now. Hit uh, Melvin. Okay. Well, he was already awake, so that sucks. All right. So let's see. Everyone, go ahead and do the Wind Beast ASAP. Uh, and hopefully he doesn't pick on Melvin too much. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because, oh, spells for everyone. That's not good again. All right, and Sleep Air, again, wasn't too worried about that. So, okay, everyone, uh, whoever's left really here, go ahead and attack the, uh, the Whale Vine, and then he should be good. He's not too terrible. Poison Mist is not fun. Um, I mean, you know, oh, and yeah, there it goes. Our Poison, not good. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and tank the blows, though, because... Um, well, he's almost, he's pretty much almost down. We're gonna go ahead and bless uh, Melvin, uh, just in case something stupid happens and we need someone to take some hits. Melvin's in the front, so he's gonna get hit the first. And, uh, ooh, so everyone's awake now, which is good. Ooh, wow, 61 damage, it's terrible. All right, so Wind Beast, uh, Wind Beast, uh, Wind Beast, and you go ahead and heal, uh, heal Aris, because he needs it more, I think. And, uh, again, he should be down about now, so. I'm really hoping that uh, the vines counted towards uh, grind. I think it did, actually. All right. And, ooh, a treasure chest. Uh, and here we get a wind shard. Awesome. Uh, I hope they counted towards the stuff. Well, there we go. There goes the hellvine. Awesome. Well, we killed the hellvine, so that's good, I guess. Uh, why don't we go ahead and cast uh, outside so we don't have to, um, uh, we don't have to travel all the way back. And we need to heal ours of poison. But yeah, everyone's, uh, everyone's doing okay now. I don't know what happened to the two that were carried on the ground. Uh, they're probably dead, though. They're gone. I think they got eaten, but... Oh, well, the poet will surely be missed. Hi, priest. You're here to greet us, huh? Thank you so much for saving us once again. Thanks to your work, the presence of evil is gone from Blumen. Now I feel that the future of the city is brighter than ever before. Just watch us. We will join together and build a wonderful future for ourselves. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. We're holding it to you, bud. Don't worry. We're holding it to you. Well, I wish I could have seen it. A second ago, Hellvine root looked like it was going to flower, so I peed on it until it got... Oh, you sick man. All right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and, you know, see how the mayor's doing. He lost his pet, so we need to see how he's... O if he's okay. Um, and... Oh, hello. Hey, what's this? Can we see you? No. Um, great. Just a little more. Now try jumping over here. Take a look at what I found on one of the dead leaves. Or uh, vine roots. Uh, they must have disturbed the little larva of a minute's sleep. Angered by the intrusion, he suctioned himself to the root. Curious, isn't it? This little maggot is as cute as a bug. I've decided to call him Chibi. Oh, okay. Hey, Chibi, you look like you've been growing. No, you couldn't be. All right, Chibi, time to practice your jumps. Come on now, jump, jump. Oh, that's cute. All right, well, awesome. Um... I guess the, uh, the mayor's made a new friend, and, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty darn neat. All right, so, uh, let's see, I think everyone pretty much says the same stuff. Uh, let's see, what about you? Did you ever get your wife back? My poor old wife got eaten by the Hellvine. But wait here, maybe the same fate will befall me? What? You defeated the Hellvine? It's not coming no matter how long I wait? That's true, then the town of Lumen has at last found peace. My dear wife, I'll be with you soon enough. Wait for me, though. It looks like I'll be staying here a little longer. Then will be at peace for a generation to come. I dare death to stride our way, or to stride our way with a sickly girlish gait. Okay. Well, that sucks for him, but hey, I guess it's cool. Uh, let's see. What about you? What about you? Uh, how's the out? Uh, uh, can we go in? Please, can we go in? Hello, hello. There we go. Jeez, some of this doesn't work. All right. What about you? Then again, don't be modest about it, Chief. I can hardly believe it. First you disemboweled the Dark Draco, and then you harvested the Hellvine. In the end, it will be like, be one like you who saves the world from itself. Ha, <laughs> forget I said that. I don't want to give you a swelled head. <laughs> uh, all right, well, hey. So, um, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and, um, let's see, can we sleep in your inn for free still? Oh, 
Slay, you are truly amazing. <laughs> Please, give me forward. So happy. I just forgot. You moved to early exhausted. On the house. All right. Yay. We get a free stay in the inn for doing this. Awesome. All right. So, yeah, that's good, I guess. So, take that and, you know, make that note. And uh, then, yeah. So, I think uh, I think we're pretty much set here. Um, for free to come say again. Okay. I think we're set here. So, why don't we go... Um, let's see, uh, you, what do you have to say? Anything interesting? Uh, really been defeated? Yep, he's dead. He's gone. Is he really, really true this time? Yep, we did it. It's a pity that I won't be able to fight him anymore. Oh, he liked doing stuff, huh? You like that line? Yeah. Alright, uh, what's in here, I wonder? Oh, okay, so I guess his sister is now doing the fine stuff. Uh, what about in here again, just to see here? Uh, how's the... How are they doing? Everyone okay? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a few days now, we've been having a series of tiny earthquakes. I suspect that the Hellvine's underground movement has slightly altered the town's foundation. Oh, okay. Well, what about you? You've defeated Hellvine? That's true, we've got nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know, the darkness has lifted, I keep having a dream about the town being destroyed. Hellvine regrew, I was worried that my nightmare was coming true, but now I finally can sleep soundly. Another dream about the uh, town being... No. I think you're fine. I think I think everything will be okay now. We've taken care of, you know, the main route and everything. So, um, uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and, uh, let's go to Lumen in the future, or the, the present, and, uh, see how, uh, see how it's doing. I mean, we, we've solved the problem. So, I mean, everything should be fine now. So, why don't we go ahead and make our way over, uh, there, you know, again, and, uh, see if there's anything cool we can get. Um... So, uh, let's see, yep, yeah. alright, cool. Now we don't need to worry about sailing over there again. Ugh, yeah, this thing has been going on for 40 minutes, and again, I have no idea what's going to be kept or not. Majority of the time spent was just battling the Hellvine stuff, so. Uh, I guess we'll cast outside, I meant to, I meant to cast return, but whatever. That's a lot of MP, I don't get why, but whatever. Alright, let's uh, go to Lumen now and see if there's anything, you know, different with the town. I mean, we did save it again, so... Uh, I'll bet everything's, you know, fine and dandy. What? Something's wrong, Aris. Wait, what? What? What's going on again? Wait. We saved the town, though. We... I don't understand. How could this happen again? This town must be cursed. Indeed. Indeedly. What? What? We s we stopped the Hellvine this time. There's no Dark Draco, no Hellvine. What could have possibly gone wrong? Can't believe it. We have defeated the Hellvine, which plagued the town in the past. Why is it still in ruins? Hate to think so, but something must have happened after we left. It's not acceptable. We must return to Lumen to see what happened. Okay. What in God's name has happened to this town? We defeated the Hellvine, didn't we? My words exactly, Maryville. Let's go back, Aris, and save Lumen again. We're gonna do that in the next episode. We're gonna see what's going on with Lumen again, and maybe try to fix this problem. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.